Jeremy Bracco. Mm-hmm. What's his future with the Leafs? I, I think that Jeremy Bracco is an NHL player. Now, I, I know that I, I think I ranked him as number five on the Leafs prospect pool. And I have a lot of, I mean, I have a lot of time for Jeremy Bracco because he's extremely talented offensively. And he didn't get a chance to show that for most of last year with the Marlies until, um, you know, Kapanen was called up in January. They called up Andreas Janssen in March. And at that point, for the last month of the season, Bracco played power play time and he played more of a top six, top nine role. And he scored over a point per game. So I think with opportunity, because earlier in the season, he was sitting out sometimes, he was playing on the fourth line, and he's not a fourth line guy. He's a top six player, and I think a very good playmaker. I, I've said, and I know that um, Russ Cohen, who's a, a good friend and somebody who is on the Hockey Buzzcast um, and has you know, scouted Brocco and um, you know, he's from Long Island, and, and Russ is also from Long Island, so there might be, might be a little bit of bias there, but he says that Bracco would be the absolute perfect right winger for Austin Matthews. They played together in the U.S. National Development Program. Uh, I think they played on the same line in the under-18s. I'm pretty sure of that. But he, he, him being a playmaking winger with a shooting center like Matthews is a perfect fit. Now, it, that might be a year or two down the line if the Leafs do have to trade Nylander, which I don't think they have to, but Bracco is a, is a talent. So I think he'll show his talent this year in the AHL with an increased role, and I think he'll be in the NHL within two years. It's nice for Kyle Dubas to know he doesn't have the pressure of having to retain guys like Nylander knowing that there are young players – within the organization developing and, you know, chomping at the bit to take Nylander's spot if, you know, he goes somewhere else, right? It's good for an organization to have options. And I'm, you know, I, by no means am I saying they're going to trade Nylander. I'm just saying, you know, if, if down the road, if, you know, two years down the road, the Leafs have, you know, gotten to the first or second, you know, second round of the playoffs and that missing piece on defense is what's keeping them from, advancing further, then the organization is going to have to make tough decisions. If they have some success and Nylander is a big part of that, then he's going to stay. But I I think that, you know, Kyle Dubas is smart enough to be open-minded to reading the landscape of what the team has done and making adjustments accordingly. 